All right, everybody, this is the start of update number 10 on the Sea View. This is Easter weekend. This is Saturday morning, April 20th, about 20 after 10 in the morning. I'll be working and finishing up the Cunning Tower today. Last weekend, I hit it with some uh, Bondo, and I cleaned up this seam here in the front of the Cunning Tower and the rear. And uh, I'll be getting this ready for uh, the spray booth and hit it with some more primer to see how uh, the seam work turned out on the front and rear of the cunning tower and then for the light I got up here on the rear of the cunning tower you can see right there where my thumb is and then the two navigation lights I'll use this micro mask and I don't know how many times I'll have to apply that to uh, the navigation lights and the light up there shouldn't take too much and hopefully it won't take too long to dry and then I get around the paint net today primering it up and with the diving planes the same thing I worked on the seam work it came in two parts and when you put the part on the bottom of the diving plane it had a real bad seam line on the where my thumb is and then where the, it curves and then I cleaned that all up and I won't know if I'm going to have to do any more work until I hit it with some primer. So that's what I got on my workbench today. I'll probably work on a sub at two. I'll go ahead and grab that. Previous video I showed that I uh, did the uh, flying sub bay and then I got the front all cleaned up. And then I may work on getting the light in or at least drilling the hole up for the light in the front and then um, the bottom you can see here you get the lights probably ready for those um, two down there and um, um, shouldn't take too long I'll have to drill a hole out for the light LED that goes in the front and then the bottom is already open so that shouldn't take too long to uh, work on that get that out of the way but um, I'll, I'm gonna focus on this today get this hopefully paint it primer it up and see if the seam work turned out fine and I don't have to do any more work same with the diving plane so I'm gonna go ahead and pause for now start working on this and I'll talk with everybody later all right everybody back on the diving planes I got it ready in the spray booth I'm gonna go ahead and see how my hard work turned out I'm just gonna primer this side of the diving planes just to make sure I don't have to do any more work if I don't then I can go ahead and glue them onto the cutting tower and then when I'm done with that the two propellers I'm going to hit those with my other airbrush I'll have to set that up and um, I do have brass uh, it's model masters and the number is 4672 I thought about using copper Tamiya but since I've got the colors that it's going for and the instructions I might as well go ahead and use it give it a try but I think the brass will look good on those propellers and I'll do that after I primer those up and see how they turn out I already got the paint and the airbrush and all ready to go so let's see how this turns out
not looking too bad. I see that I got to do a little more work in here and some work on this one. Um, but that's what primer is for. It shows you any mistakes or what you uh, didn't sand down good enough and it's going to show up on the paint. So I'll need to work on these a little bit more before I can say that they're finished. But that, that's not too bad for all the hard work I did. I'm going to have to clean it up in here. Up in here a little bit. And right in there. This don't look too bad. So I'm going to go ahead and let that dry. And I'll probably get it on it later today. So I know this Badger paint. Uh, you can probably within an hour or two start sanding it. And... and um, hitting it with some more primer so I got my work cut out um, to clean these up but it shouldn't take that much time to do I figured I'd give everybody a look at uh, diving uh, planes and what I still have to do I'm trying to spit out the right words here but um, the other side is going to go real good because they're the top of the diving planes and I didn't have to do any work to those. And technically these are the bottom of the diving planes but still I want them to look just as good. So I'll put these to the side and let them dry and I'll work on those later tonight. So I'll go ahead, pause and I'll set up those propellers next and I'll be right back. All right, everybody, back on the propellers. I got the paint mixed in the airbrush. I'll go ahead and hit these. These should turn out pretty good. So let's go ahead and get started. I always have my PSI at about 20 with the Badger primer, the primer right here. Um, I have it set at 30. But with uh, acrylics, I usually go with 20. Looking pretty good. See the difference in the two. Hopefully that's all in frame. Looking pretty good. Got a real nice shine to them in the light. I'll go ahead and hit this one one more time. I 
think they turned out pretty cool. I'll let them dry. Uh, before I do, I'll pause the camera and see if I just need to do a little bit more touch up. And then after they're dry, I'll hit them with a dull coat. But it uh, didn't take long for the propellers. And in the right light, they got a nice little shine to them. They look pretty good. So let me go ahead and pause the camera and I'll talk with everybody later. Alright everybody, here's a closer look at the propellers. Get the lighting right in here. Hopefully that's going to focus. Yeah, I think they turned out awesome. Nice shine to them. The other one right here. And I used Model Masters, it's acrylic number 4672. I did thin it out before I went ahead and applied the paint. And if I got it in stock, I'll go ahead and use it and on the diving planes. Closer look. I hold it in my hand. Uh, whether the camera picks it up or not. Um, I'm going to just do it this way, not sure. I've got some work on both of them. It would be probably the best way to put it. So I may have to add a few, a little, little bit more primer. Or primer, a little bit more putty. But I'll see. I'll, I'll go ahead and sand first. But uh, not a lot of work to do on those. And then I'll, I'll be ready to put them up on the cunning tower. And then I used the micro mask and I put two coats you can see it's a little bit of blue, blue tint right there same on the other side and then on the top so I'm gonna let that sit overnight and then I'll hit that with some primer tomorrow keep my fingers crossed and because I did the front of it and the rear of it uh, with uh, with uh, uh, the bondo and I sanded it so I won't know until I hit it with primer if I need to do any more cleanup on that but I'm happy with the the propellers at least they turned out look pretty awesome today I mean, hold them both in my hand so they look good happy with the results so I'll go ahead and continue I may start working on the sub and um, getting the lighting for the front and the bottom of the of the sub I uh, still got a uh, good part of the day to do that with so I'll go ahead and pause for now and I'll talk with everybody later all right everybody another update on the sea view um, been working the last couple weekends on the sub and the coming tower uh, did some more sanding on the top there I have to hit it again with some more primer you can see this side here it's almost done and then uh, the diving planes I said several times in other videos that this one's passable but I may just do a little bit more sanding on this just to clear it up or clear it up clean it up a little bit and then hit it with some more primer this is the one that I had issues with and the seam work in the putty showed um, on a primer and I still got to do a little bit more sanding on this one but it's almost almost there as you can see so I'm getting those two finished and then the front of the sea view let everybody see the front of it I already primered it and then I re-sanded the seam as you can see here and I may touch it up a little bit more with some sandpaper and then I'll go ahead and uh, hit it with more primer just to see how those seams uh, turn out because the uh, uh, work I've been doing on the front uh, it's not as as long as those diving planes and uh, cunning tower but I think I'm almost there uh, I won't know until I hit it with another coat of primer but uh, I really did a good job of cleaning up those seams, sanding them down. And then I want to work on the lighting for the front and the bottom of the sea view. And that's my goal for this weekend. 
but I think I'm going to go ahead and call this a wrap for update number 10 on the sea view um, another thing I'm working two jobs uh, 12 hour days that's rough and I been uh, not working as much in my hobby room and then on the sea view but that's the way it goes I'm keeping my fingers crossed I can go down to one job and not work two it's kind of rough working two jobs 12 hour days and then trying to find time to do a hobby but um, I'm still doing a little here and a little there on the sea view um, just taking my time um, but I figured I'd give everybody a quick update on the sea view slowly getting there and um, I'll call this a wrap for update number 10 I'd like to thank all my YouTube subscribers I'd like to thank everybody for watching, sub to my channel, and um, I'll continue working on the Sea View, and I'll talk with everybody later.